And now a KPRC2 investigation. One of the largest online used car dealers in the country just closed, and this one is in our backyard. Houston-based Vroom uh, took over Texas Direct Auto back in 2015. No longer selling cars, and it's not a clean closure. Customers still have a lot of questions. Investigative reporter Amy Davis is here with some answers. Yeah, the reason that people have questions is because some customers were in the middle of buying cars when Vroom announced last week that they were winding down operations. Others want to know about out outstanding paperwork and warranties. Even when they were open, our investigations have shown customer service was not great. So now if you need to reach someone for an outstanding issue, you better move quickly. The signs at Vroom, formerly Texas Direct Auto in Stafford, say the store is closed, but we found the lot full of vehicles. A manager here told us out of hundreds of employees in Houston, only five are left to wind down operations. He said almost all of these cars have been purchased by customers or other dealers. Nationwide, this was the only physical car lot Vroom owned. All other business was online. Kara Wade in Indiana and Lynn Ruggieri in Connecticut were right in the middle of buying cars when Vroom abruptly announced it was closing. I'm unable to get on the app um, to check the status of my delivery. Just feel very, I'm overwhelmed and stressed out. I'm a single mother with, I don't just have cash to just be purchasing cars and things like that. I'm worried that I'm going to lose my money and, I'll, and not have a car. And I don't have a car right now. I can't get a hold of them. I don't have a car and I don't have my money. Both have already made down payments and spent hours on hold with customer service. In 2021, we showed you thousands of room customers complaining and commiserating on Facebook. Back then, the Houston Better Business Bureau was juggling some 1,900 complaints, from delayed deliveries to customers who couldn't get the titles to their vehicles. BBB President Dan Parson says that's why it's so important that customers in limbo speak up now. They need to be the squeaky wheel in a big way. Let's say you're... Most of these things, unfortunately, are cash or their money words. If anything was tied to a credit card, get that reversed. Get it done right away. Um, document your stuff. Just last month, the Texas Attorney General settled a Deceptive Trade Practices Act lawsuit with Vroom that left the company with a $3 million judgment it owes the state. Vroom's CEO said in this statement the company had planned to raise more money to keep the used car sales side of the business going. But, quote, despite significant efforts to do so, we ultimately were unable to raise the necessary capital in the current market. Room told us they are working to close all deals that were in progress. There is a section on the Room website to help answer some common customer questions and some toll-free numbers customers can call. For years and years and years, all those victims, and you kind of go out with a whimper. Uh, in total, some 800 Vroom employees are losing their jobs. And Vroom isn't going away completely. They just won't sell used cars anymore. They have other subsidiaries. One called Car Story is a search engine to help you find used vehicles for sale across the country. But it's not really yeah. the same. It's There's more a like a search platform. In that space too. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not like you're buying it and financing it with this I mean, Car Story. Cars.com, Auto Trader, Car And then I think this Car Story looks at all those too. Yeah, yeah so all a lot the same of duplication. Inventory. The right. biggest thing is those victims keep speaking up. Exactly. Yeah. And, and as you saw, five, five employees left. I know. So I would move quickly. All right, right. Amy, thank you. Thanks.